Leslie Stahl's a friend of mine and anybody who's ever known me knows that I have an unusual memory because even as a little kid, I was six years old and falling asleep at night saying, what did I do exactly a year ago? What did I, in kindergarten, what did I do when I was exactly my little brother's age, you know? And I would like scan and, and just figure out all the time, oh, how many days, are, you know, and I was, it was kind of time travel for me and I loved it. And so anybody that knew me, I'd say, oh, I haven't seen you since blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, remember you last time we saw each other, we ate it, la, 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 you ate this and you were wearing this. So anybody who, who's a friend of mine has always known about my memory. So um, Wednesday, September uh, 20th of 2006, Leslie had called me the week before and she said, I want you to come to lunch with me. I'm going to be in town on that day. We're going to go to lunch. And Sherry Finkelstein, her producer, was with me, was with us. So was her daughter, Taylor, who was getting married the following summer. So... Um, we start talking and Leslie's saying, oh, when did we meet? When did this happen? This happened, this happened. I'm just naming days. And then Sherry says, oh yeah, I got married uh, uh, June 15th, 1998. I said, oh really? Why'd you get married on a Monday? That's so unusual. She said, she has it. So I said, what is going on? So it turns out that there was a woman by the name of Jill Price who had come forward saying she had an unusual memory and she had called UC Irvine, which is kind of the memory center, epicenter of the country. Dr. James McGaugh, he's got a whole building named after him. And he said, well, I can't help you. There's, there's clinics to help you with your memory. And she's saying, no, I don't have trouble remembering. I have trouble forgetting. I don't forget anything. So they started testing her and the more they tested her, they realized they had never seen a memory like hers and they there was nothing in the medical books or science books about it. And they said, this is a very unusual thing. We've now spent years testing her. Uh, we want to offer the story of 60 Minutes and to Primetime Live. And Leslie Stahl basically said, uh, hate to burst your bubble, but you're not the only one with this memory. My friend Mary Lou Henner has the same memory. So she was proving it to Sherry Finkelstein, her, um, her, her uh, producer. producer, that you know I had the memory and it wasn't that unusual and they're not doing the story. So they turned on the story. Uh, Jill Price, the woman with the unusual memory, she was on, uh, she was on Primetime Live. And then three years later, Leslie called me and she said, okay, it is unusual. They have found very few people. I really want you to test. We're going to test you on camera. So I spent four days with them in 2009 and we, they tested me and went through all these things. I answered over 500 questions. They went through every kind of memory test imaginable. I went out to UC Irvine. They, they tested me on things in my house. They tested me things that they do like this gold standard test ask you so many different questions about current events or things that they've learned about you. I was actually an easy person for them to find things out about because they had pictures and they had video and you know they could ask me about all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so I spent four days including meeting the people and um, the testing has been ongoing. I talk to them all the time. They wire us, they put us through an MRI, they ask us questions, they've taken you know, saliva samples, they've taken different samples and things like that, uh, muscle testing. And uh, what they discovered is that we have nine areas. They've taken 300 measurements of our brains, but they've discovered that there are nine areas that are 10 times larger than the normal brain. And when you see the scans, it's kind of freaky, but it's cool. And I've always thought of it as a gift. I'm thrilled that I have it. It's never been a burden. I get asked all the time, well, what about a bad breakup and stuff? And I always say, hey, memory's tied to adrenaline. You're gonna remember the highs and the lows. If you don't process the lows, they become these emotional boogeymen that sort of stranglehold your life. So why not process them? But I'm interested in bringing back the sweeter little our town moments that we all have. So sometimes my siblings will say, do a week from our childhood, Mayor. Do, you know, do something like that. So, um, so anyway, I, I wrote a book about it and, uh, you know, it was on the New York Times bestseller list. I have a lot of theories about memory, talking about it from the inside out. And uh, I'm in development right now on a memory game show because I'm trying to help people develop their memories. And I also serve as a consultant and a recurring character on Unforgettable, the Poppy Montgomery series that um, has been on for three years and now we're going into our fourth season, but this time on A&E.